and welcome to the third video. Currently we are standing at Capella de Santa Agata. I believe I got that right. Not sure what it is, but it looks really cool. Uh, we're on our way for breakfast and really cool spot to stop and stare at. So there's a lot of cool architecture. Right now we're just going to wander around the streets and see if we can find something. So we found the next place called The Roof, and look at this view. I don't know what that is, but that's where we're going next, because it looks cool. That looks like London uh, has a building very similar to that. And they have these little day beds to grab a drink. Very nice restaurant. Now that's a presentation. Beer and cafe. So now that we got done with the nice rooftop, let's check out this market. Okay, this is like a regular market. This is nice. We're still actually on the hunt for breakfast. So from the market, there's this door that all of a sudden takes you in to ancient ruins. This, this is kind of like uh, Greece, yeah, kind of. where they built all around their ruins. Wow. Hey, this is our first tapas in Barcelona. Looks interesting. And their burgers look delicious. So this is a restaurant. They have amazing burgers. Really reasonable prices. Two burgers. The... Huevos uh, Rotos. Tapas and two Cokes was less than 40 bucks. Plus, the one thing that I will say is most restaurants will do the card, but they don't have tip on there, so they are not expecting tips. I kind of feel bad not giving, not being able to add it to the card. Something to think about. So exploring the city of Barcelona, we came across this. The Arche de Triumph of Barcelona. Yes, Arche <laughs> Triumph of Barcelona. Uh, it's beautiful. Here, let me switch you around. Nice little plaza here. And that giant building, which is the Superior Justice of Catalonia. Yes, I even like their light post. If you can look at that, all of that is just for a light post. That is beautiful. This is the Castle of the Dragons and we are in what looks like a park. And it looks like there's a lot of 
art sculptures, so we're gonna go check it out. This outer way right here has a vibe of like Chicago, where the only thing missing is in the middle is the giant bean. And this is why we travel. Look at this beautiful fountain. Wow, look at this sculpture. I wonder if this is how big they really were. Just for scale, yeah, it's actually not small. Cool though that they have this here for some unknown reason. Maybe they used to live here. Look at the beautiful Paris. This looks pretty cool. Why is that one so loud? It was serene, but I think a tour group just walked by. Maybe we should uh, go in one of those. I wonder how much it costs. All right, so we have made it on the boat, as you can see. Uh, pretty decent price actually for 30 minutes. It's only six euros, which is uh, Fantastic and that's for one to two people if there's three people. I believe it was ten euros So as you can see not as easy as it looks And we're rolling backwards. Yeah, I can't see when I'm about to hit somebody <laughs> But a beautiful sight. Look at that sunshine and so as you can see, I am just relaxing on the boat while uh, Carlos uh, try not to kill us. Yes, try not to run into any boats. Tons of uh, animal life over here. Look at this beautiful goose. So it does say you can fit, I think, six to nine people. I believe so. But believe me, you are not fitting six to nine people in here. Maybe two there. You saw one with five people and that's scary. Two there and maybe like one there. Maybe two. So six max, I would assume. Haha, -ha, the other way around now. Are you going to crash us into somebody? Yes. Well, this really was an awesome deal. Six euros for 30 minutes for two people. It's like the cheapest thing we've done here.
was a workout. I didn't think I was going to get it today, but that was the boat ride. Uh, the most interesting thing is it's 30 minutes, um, but you're actually doing it yourself. Nobody's actually yelling at you to come back. So it's on the honor system, and apparently everybody was pretty honest. Everybody came back when they were supposed to. Uh, that's probably something something I wouldn't see in like Central Park in New York City. But right now we're right here. Checking out the beautiful structures. And these funky trees. But look at that. Catalonia. Parliament of Catalonia. There we go. Wonder how old it is. So the building actually was um, built in the 1700s, 18th century, uh, as a military arsenal. arsenal yep. And in 1932, it became the Parliament de Catalonia. It's a shame that they have the garden closed off, but, or else I'd probably try to get an orange or a mandarin, whichever that is. Looks like oranges. So now we're at the Hola Hotel, we're at the rooftop. We did have to make reservations earlier this morning, but the view is why we're here. Uh, yeah, that's a pool, so I'll get drunk and fall in. So that was the rooftop bar. Uh, drinks were good. Obviously you're paying for the view. Uh, the mixed drinks were $16 each. Uh, I would recommend the beer. That's $6 for a small one and $10 for a large one. Uh, and you still get this, the same view. Also note to self, they do have blankets, which we didn't know until we were about to leave. <laughs> yes, so kind of like the rooftop bar in New York City, uh, they didn't have the robes. Uh, robes, but they did have blankets, but apparently we didn't see them until the end, but it's about 40 degrees, 50 degrees right now, a little, a little above 50 degrees, so it's starting to get a little chilly, but right now we're on to the next adventure. Alright, we're at Plaza Real and we are going to a flamenco show right here. So we'll see how good that is.
right, so that clearly was a good show. It went by fast. Now, the tickets were... They were $25 to entry. If you wanted a drink included, it was $30, but just recommend to get the ticket of $25 because I think the beer was $4. The beers were $4, so technically you're saving $2 if you don't get it with, in, with the uh, drink included. Uh, but the show was good. It, it literally went by 40 minutes, went by super quick. So highly recommend it if you're in the area. Yes, we recommend it. And the group was fantastic. You really have to work together to be able to make it work. And they did a fantastic job. So check it out. So this ends the uh, video for today. Tomorrow, we actually do have an excursion with... Uh, tomorrow, we're going to... Montserrat. Montserrat, which is, I believe, a monastery at the top of a hill. Uh, so we got to wake up real bright and early. So we'll see you then. Don't forget to like and subscribe.